Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday morning, it is the third day of January. Rich here at about 10 minutes after 4 o'clock in the morning, another Gulf Coast soaker on the way. This one could produce a lot of rainfall. The last thing we need with the ground saturated and with rivers at bank full, I'll tell you how much rain could fall, when it'll be in here and when it'll be out of here. We'll talk about the return of glorious sunshine this weekend and a nice string of days, and we'll look for winter. We'll see if there's any extreme winter outbreaks about to happen here in the U.S. On the map this morning, we see two lows, one near New Orleans, but the one we care about is out there in the western Gulf of Mexico, and that's the one that will cause all the ruckus as it moves toward shore and then onshore, and then here it is at 6 p.m. tonight, uh, just to the west of Jackson, Mississippi, dragging first a warm front uh, into our area, then a cold front after that, and it's going to be a, a, a wet night, and you can see how the, uh, the big mass of rain out to the west of us in Louisiana and Mississippi moves on eastward as we go through the daytime hours today and into the evening hours tonight, and and that's our future in the overnight hours. Looks like a soaker with uh, many of us getting some heavy rainfall. So showers likely today, then rain and a few thunderstorms tonight. With today's high 61, tonight's low 56. The winds pick up later on, especially by evening. Northeast gusting as high as 25 miles per hour. Here's tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. The low is just north of Tupelo. The front is moving into eastern Alabama at that time. But even behind the front, there'll be some scattered showers during the daytime hours tomorrow and tomorrow evening. Total rainfall. We don't need any, but uh, maybe an inch in southeast Alabama. A lot of us could see 1.5 to 2 inches. Ouch. And in north central Alabama, maybe more than 2 inches. It's certainly not out of the question. Sunshine returns. It's a little cooler Saturday, but not cold. Actually close to normal for this time of the year. And then warmer Sunday with more sun. A glorious weekend of sunshine. Highs in the middle 60s. I think we'll be near 70 on Monday with uh, clouds increasing, maybe some showers sometime Monday night into Tuesday. This is a cold front that will bring cooler but not cold air. There will be a little bump in the road by the middle of next week, but not nothing serious. So some spotty showers with the front on Tuesday. And then we get into the cooler air by the middle of the week around Wednesday. I think high temperatures will be in the upper 50s again. So just briefly cooler. So let's review. Uh, even tomorrow, a 90% chance of showers, especially early and middle of the day. And then uh, trailing off during the evening with a high around 64. A little cooler with the sunshine on Saturday, 59. Mid-60s on Sunday after a chilly start at 38. Monday's high around 70, with a chance of showers Monday night into Tuesday as that front approaches. So next week, after the midweek uh, bump in the road, uh, it's going to warm up again Thursday, Friday uh, of next week, uh, around January 10th and 11th. But then over that following weekend, maybe a, another bump in the road as some colder air comes into the area. But even that will not be around for long because the warm air will start to return. So we don't see any major lasting colder outbreaks over the next couple of weeks. Let's take a look at some numbers here on the European. Notice, again, I, I mentioned these little bumps in the road. We have one Saturday. We have one in the middle of next week and then the following weekend. But in all, over the next few weeks, temperatures remain very mild for this time of the year with no cold air outbreaks uh, on the way. The year 2018 is now in the books. Interesting year that started with snow in January, record warm February, tornadoes in March, and a lot more, including a hurricane named Michael. We'll talk about this year that went by uh, tonight on our Weather Extra on the Alabama News Network, CBS 8 and ABC 32 at 6 and 10 tonight. I was uh, just doing a little math a little while ago. At this particular location, there's been 5.45 inches of rain since Thursday. That'd be a week ago, so... You know, you add this rain coming up and add to, you know, another inch and a half, two inches. Wow, that's a lot of rain in a nine or ten day period of time. Have a great day today. It'll be great to see the sun today. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Ryan Stinnett and I will be talking weather at 5.50 a.m. on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. And I'll be standing out here in the rain tomorrow morning with your morning video online by about 4.45 a.m. You got all that? There will not be a test. I will see you later. Have a good day. Rich.